Welcome Trias fa family. An exciting update because we're starting to get this move back up. However, it's running into a key level of resistance. And with today's NFP and unemployment uh, change rate, uh, we need to discuss the bearish news that came out because if we look at the statistics over here, uh, when these are actually green, it's positive for the dollar. Because when we're looking at these two uh, key points of data, we're looking at what they're forecasting and we want the actual to be underneath what they're predicting. And so in turn, this is great for the dollar and so that's why for some cryptos especially bitcoin over the last hour or so as of 1:30, uh, when when this news event came out we saw a slight dump in the bitcoin price on the 30 minute time frame shown very clearly over here at the on the 130 candle so with that it, of course we're seeing some pullbacks however with trias it's so strong it already had a move back up today and we need to run through that here we go it's pretty much already invalidated that bearish news and if you go a tune into today's bitcoin update i'm actually saying something quite similar very briefly heading to the daily this dump on the daily looks like absolutely nothing so this dump is potentially just bringing us back down to see if we can lose this reclaimed level of support and if it fails to lose it there's a potential inverse head and shoulders here to send us higher and if we hold this low and bitcoin does break out and continues higher then it's free reign for alt to start moving up of course so if we're taking a look at trias right now we moved up without actually coming exactly down to the 20 moving average you can look at that in two ways of course we're still underneath the resistance that was previous support and if we look at this move down it could be that this exact resistance here is the golden pocket more specifically the 618 and the 65 let's check that okay slightly higher um it's around yeah the 618 all the way until the 786 but yeah this level of blue support oh, sorry support and now resistance is around the yeah it's just a massive area between these points like this guys so i can do that it gets a bit more confusing so what i've done is just i've just found the support where these bodies were actually holding and then we can see that's the perfect resistance for the moment the the fibonacci's in this specific example are just just giving you a rough basis of the level of resistance that we know should give us a rejection so it's around this area over here between 0.5 and 786 and we want to see that 0.5 now held a support equally if you're following my updates we know we need to hold the 1272 and $12.30 the lowest point of this range and then we will continue past the 1414 where we topped out and actually head to our next technical target the 1618 bringing us a potential move from today's current price of around 83 percent now if you've been following me for a while we have essentially called for this ginormous move ever since this range over here we were saying uh, previously that there were some key levels of resistance on a much higher time frame the five day and if you remember those updates it was right out over here back in the beginning of november where i told you guys the 200 ema has just appeared for the first time and even though we're in a bullish cross and i'm expecting higher this is actually showing us the top of the downtrend so if we ever break through this we're in a full-blown uh, bull market essentially why because we're on a really high time frame just as like the weekly and uh, of course if we're on the weekly time frame for example and we're underneath the 200 ema we'd say oh yeah we're we're in a rotten bearish trend that it's going to take so much to get out of you know this just appeared over here but if we pretend to extend it in the past we can see all the price action has been underneath and if we ever get above it we're in a bullish trend so the five day time frame is a little bit different but gives us precursor signals if i go to the weekly there's no such thing as a 200 week ema as of now but there are 200 five day periods as of the, uh, november the 20 uh, november the 2nd 2023 and so with that i knew that if we broke four dollars fifty and five dollars we would of course break out bullish and meet all our technical targets to the upside 
eventually heading back to the previous all-time high and this high over here and we're on our journey and continuing to that high so if we can get to our targets essentially if you remember from the daily time frame now when we started to reject that $4.50 five day EMA over here we came to the daily time frame and found that the 200 EMA now that we are above it it needs to hold to maintain the uptrend and so if we're going to maintain the uptrend by holding above this we're going to break this high and remember on the five day time frame that was the 200 EMA right over here so we know that we're essentially in a bull market if we break through this level so I was essentially saying hold $3.50 and we'll enter once we break $4.50 to $5 so let's see how much we've moved up from that point and we have given this totally free here on the channel but we were actually in trias a lot earlier in the Discord community. There are a whole bunch of cryptos in there that I'm constantly asked uh, to make videos on, on YouTube as well. And that people are messaging me saying, Louis, look into this coin, as if I don't know it already and I'm not in it, but it's cute. But it's because I want, of course, my group chat members to say, yes, we're fine with you making some more videos on these special alts that are sub 200 million market cap, for example, just like Trias. I even made a Twitter update a month or two ago where I was talking about Trias when it was a 59 million market cap. It's well into the hundreds now. It's closer to 200. So that's absolutely incredible growth uh, over here from Trias over the past couple months, guys. And remember, we're expecting further moves up. So let's take it from this $3.50 low. It Imagine if we get to our $26 target, that'll be a 650% move for free. And then the all time high, 800% from that level of support that I was saying it must hold for the continuation to the all time high to break this high and then head to the all time high. And we've now got that, we've now seen it happen. But when we were down here, a lot of people saying, no, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. It eventually happened. I know it was gonna happen because the moving averages tell us everything. Yes, we were beneath it here, but reclaim it, confirm it, support, break the high, we're bullish. And that was what came to be. Now we saw the bearish news over today. And as I mentioned with Bitcoin, it's just bringing us down to key levels of support. And essentially, when we look at the 30 minute time frame, we can see that this NFP has completely been uh, invalidated already. Not only did we lose a 20 moving average, but we reclaimed it. And then the direct next candle after that, breaking out of our range high over here, trying to break out of our uh, golden pocket, our daily level of resistance and essentially trying to flip in support. So right now, I want you guys to focus on the daily candle close for the UK. It's 12 p.m. When the clocks go forward, it's 1 p.m. Uh, sorry, oh, 1 a.m. Uh, Oh, gosh, why did I say PM? I meant AM, guys, in the in the morning. And then uh, what we need to see over here is the push through. If we close underneath, then we're coming back down to the 20 moving average. It's great that we've got this move up without coming to here. It's because it's following another moving average that I teach uh, all my students about. Uh, so it's just showing us how strong this trend is if we can continue to hold this blue one rather than coming down to the 20. So we got a doji down there. It's given us a reversal, but can we now break the high? If not, it's back down to potentially the 20 on this occasion. And then as long as we're above that $12.30 level of support, then we'll reverse from here, break out. And then you can see that this is potentially an inverse head and shoulders pattern, just like what we were seeing on the Bitcoin chart. So make sure you tune into my Bitcoin updates daily. If you know what's going on with Bitcoin, you've got an idea already coming into this video update, what will happen with your altcoin. So looking at this breakout, potential breakout, we are giving, I think it's going to call for the 26, isn't it? Okay, 22. So we've got further confluence now. So if we get to the 1414, we need $20 to hold. And then we will continue to 26, 25, 26. Yeah. So we've got a lot of confluence in this area. Guys, that's it from me today. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. And remember, I've got discounts at the moment while we're doing the giveaway. So check out the website, support us. Uh, use the links down below. You can also head over to Twitter to enter that giveaway or ask any questions regarding my educational offers, whether that's the one to one mentorship plan or gaining access uh, to my Discord community where we do group calls and You'll find my crypto portfolio in there. Equally got a course for you to do in your own time and an ebook that you can do in your own time as well. So just message me or head straight to the website and support us. Cheers, everyone.